let everything load. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna start. Let's give it just one more. It's just now a seven thirty two already. Okay. All right, hey everybody, it's Doug Herring, Doug Mystic Guy on Board Game Geek, and John Wolf getting ready to play another round or attempt to play another game of A Touch of Evil on Tabletop Simulator because we did it so well last time. <laughs> <laughs> so when we last super time, good super good when we played this last time we were both ill and we're, we're not apparently not paying attention to any of the rules <laughs> so it was pretty exciting right but we're going to get uh, a game going again uh, we may not complete it in this uh, session but we'll see what we can do so again uh, first thing we have to do is start the setup I think it was up here in the corner right <laughs> gives us all the, the yeah, rules get summary. us going yeah, let's get us going. All right. Maybe we'll even read the rules. Let's read the rules this time, too. How about yeah, just, be, for, just for, you know. That'd be awesome. You know, it's one of those things where, you know, I've played this game before. You would think <laughs> I'd remember enough about playing it. So anyway, so the first thing we have to do is we're, we're going to not play a base game because we're going to use that, that at cooperative tables and everything like that. But the basic setup is the same. Um, so uh, we, gotta, we got the shadow track. It's already out. All the stuff's already out. We need to get the six town elders and place one secret underneath them. So I'll get that going. We'll shuffle everything up. Got to get their secrets out. And I'll just draw one. You can do the next thing if you want up there. Town elders have their secrets. Why don't you want to rotate for me, table? It might be locked. Okay. Secrets are in. What's next? Okay, we got to choose a villain. I'll let you choose a villain. Okay, let's choose. Let's try the vampire. Okay. Vampire it is. Um, pull out the stuff out of his bag. So we got to get... There's the vampire sheet right there. We'll just put it down between us. And I'm having camera control problems because I'm stupid. All right, there we go. Uh, let's take a look at this. Um, you know what? I, I gotta do something. Did real I just quick, drop huh? a sheet on the floor? I think you did. If you did, it's like gone. <laughs> did you really drop the whole sheet on the floor? I think I did. Yeah. Oh man! No, it's still there. No, that's not the vampire's rule sheet. Oh, uh, yes. The there's nothing in it. Floor. It is Excellent. empty now. Okay, All let's right. pick another villain. <laughs> I think we'll not be playing the horrible. vampire tonight. Um, I just <laughs> we'll just throw them all off the table. <laughs> what it landed right there, though. Well, that's weird. Where's so? Where's the other piece then? Did it land it? Oh, there it is. Look. Oh, that's the vampire. The werewolf. Oh, okay. that's the vampire. Oh, that's the vampire. Oh, that's okay. Great. You just have to the werewolf bag. Okay, we're sticking with the vampire. All right. Okay. So after we've done that, we got to uh, randomly draw or choose a villain sheet, see what is terrorized in town, place its basic or advanced side up. We can do basic, right? <laughs> Let's go with basic. <laughs> um, well, do we have to do anything for setup? Let's see. Does not look like it. Okay. We don't have to do anything special for setup based on his character card, but is there anything on his... Where's his sheet, his monster sheet? Where are, There it is. Okay. Do we have to do anything on... Does it say do anything special there? Oh, that's advanced game. Yeah. Well, we want... I think we... You know, the basic one... Let's do the advanced one. The basic one sucks, to be honest. Okay. Um, 
Fine. Oops. No, but when you see, see, there's more stuff on it. Makes it more interesting. All right. All right. Do you want to randomly do characters? Ooh, yeah. Okay. I should want to check the stream real quick. Quick, I'm not on Twitch, so let me quickly get there. Just make sure it's yeah. Okay, we're going. We're going. All right. Um. Okay, I shuffled the characters. We want to choose two of two, uh, and pick one. What you think? I don't care. All right, one. I'm gonna take Sarah the Bright Witch. Oh, okay. I shuffled them. I don't know where she is in here. Okay. Well, I'll take this one. Well, here, take two. I'll take two. Pick one. And if uh, um, I got your vampire chick from last time. I'm not going to take her. I am going to take Lucy Hanbrook. I played her in another game once. She's pretty fun. Where is she? There she is. Lucy Hanbrook. I think she starts in a different location. She starts in the manor, yeah. Brother Marcus can go spit. I'm going with Jack Fell as a privateer. All right. We got a rich girl and a privateer. We can make some stories around that, I'm sure, huh? R, matey. <laughs> All right. So uh, Lucy Hanbrook, what she does is um, she starts at the manor. When she's KO'd, she goes back to the manor instead of hall, town hall, and she starts with four investigation. Uh Instead of we all start normally with two, which we didn't do that last time we played either. Um, and then uh, she's lucky once per fight round, she can force her opponent to reroll uh, one of its fight dice and she's youthful. She heals one wound at the start of each of her turns, but she's only nice. starts, but she only starts with two wounds. It's all right. So she's not wound heavy. I get to reroll fights, my fight dice. All of them. Nice. All of my misses. That is. Just so one I'm time. Fighty. One time per fight. Round. Cool. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay. I got my four starting investigation. You got your stuff. I don't think we need to do anything more for setup. Let me just double check. Oh, yeah, we do. I take it back. There are locations on these alternate on the boards we got to look at. That say start with, they're not on the main board, but on these other two boards, that says start with uh, investigation. Like, um, here's one: the the North Docks says start with two investigation. We got to fill those up. And then I think all these ones up here: the Monastery, the Inn, South Dock. Yeah. The bog. Okay, and then there's some over here too. There. The bog, yeah. Got the bog. I think uh, the shipwreck needs to. Shipwreck doesn't show that it needs any. Oh, well, there's another location. Maybe it's not the shipwreck, but there's... The bog on the middle map. I got that one. You got him in the bog. And then it's... Is it the... Uh... I know there's more than one location here that starts with two. Maybe not. Maybe it is just the shipwreck. The North or Dock, the, the North South Dock, the Bog. Oh, uh, then the, this actually starts with three, not two. And Icy Waters, yeah, starts with three. I think that's it. That looks like that's it. I think we got him. Yeah, I think we got him. Yep, okay. 
now we're actually ready to start. <laughs> All right. Okay. As if you're uh, just joining us, uh, say hi. Check. Uh, let us know you're around. I'm watching the the chat. All right. So, do uh, you want to go first? Sure. Okay. So I roll one die, right? Yep. Roll one die for movement. And uh, if you get a one, you you know you get a uh, an event. Well, I'm gonna roll first. So three. See if we can defeat the vampire. <laughs> Go to the covered bridge. All right. Roll a three or higher. Yes. Three or yeah. higher. Draw an event. Yay. Yay. Not a mystery card. I don't know if I shuffle these. Take that one. It does not going to matter, but I'm going to shuffle them up just to make Layman sure. hero is KO'd. That hero does not have to lose any items for being KO'd. Oh, nice. Yay. That's pretty good. Do you mind if I turn your uh, sheet like that? Okay. Okay. That's, that's well, the way I'm, I'm that's, at the edge of the table over here, so. Oh, I see. I, I You could put it over there. That's fine. It's just the way I was facing the table so uh, people could see, that's but I, I could just highlight it. It's not a big deal. All right. No, I'm uh, fine. And so I'm next up, <laughs> you, um, so then you're going to draw. you go, right? No. Oh, yeah, we did decide. It's not after every turn, right? It's, yeah. Right. Okay. Six. Nice. Oh, wait, I do actions. Oh, yeah. Sorry, you're... I do actions first. Well, there's, there's nothing to do so there. Down to the space. Yeah, there's and... nothing to do there. No investigation to pick up. Um, there's really there are no actions for me to take, right? No, not not at the covered bridge. Oh, I can draw a covered bridge card, can I? No, there aren't any. Is there a covered bridge card? No. no. It's just a bad place. <clears throat> so I do jack, right? Basically, yes. I encounter the space. There's no investigation to collect. I don't have any wounds to heal. I'm not going to look at an elder. I'm not buying a lair card. 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 And uh, yeah. Okay, done. All right. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six down to the abandoned keep, and I'll encounter that space. We got something. Decent, looks like. Honor Among Thieves. Stumbling into a den of thieves. Uh, you quickly realize that you're surrounded. Oh, i got to make an Honor 5 plus test and gain two investigations for every five roll. If failed, I've discarded an item, but I don't have any. And I moved to Town Hall. That's not too terrible for me. And you have four, four Honor. You're very honorable. Yes, I'm the lady, uh, the daughter of the lord of the, the, the town. Hey, so. I have four Honor, too. And you're yeah, a privateer, don't... right? Honorable yeah, so you pressure. may not be that honorable, it turns out. That's a lot of honor, though. All right. <laughs> well, there's your answer. You're not that honorable. I'm not that honorable. All right. Well, actually, not much happens. I don't have any items to speak of. But now you can, but now you can encounter the... Oh, you did encounter this. this I did. Right? I got to go to... I go to the town hall as part of that card. That's what it said. Right. If I fail. Yeah, I just lose an item. No investigation. So that was it. That's our turns. Okay, so now we do the mystery, mystery card. Phase. Yep. Roll on the cooperative mystery phase chart. Okay. Yes. Two dice. Here Go for it. Come. Tell me what it is. It's a seven. Seven. That is Surge of Evil. Roll once on the villain minion chart and work out the results. If it is a minion or if the villain attacks, draw a random location. Okay. A six. Six. Succubus. Oh, yeah. Nice. So it is, a, it is a minion. It is a minion. So we need to draw a layer card. I already shuffled them up. 
So it is going to be at the Forgotten Island. And you find a succubus token up here. Come on now. Where is it? Harpies, Shadow Beast. There it is. Got one. And it is going to be here in the Forgotten Island. And then we draw a mystery card. Okay. That wasn't that wasn't too terrible. Did you draw it? Nope, not yet. At the start of each mystery phase, uh, remains in play, including this one. Each her hero gains one investigation. Anytime a hero rolls a one for movement, they must draw a mystery card instead of an event. Oh, that is awful. I don't care that we're gaining all that investigation. That's terrible. All right, we'll just leave that That's right here. That's pretty terrible. But we get an investigation. We do, because now it's well at the start of each of our turns, right? Including this one. Yeah, so you so, get so you get that and then, then go. Yep, so now it's my turn. Yep. I rolled a six. You're moving. One, two, three, four. Let's go to the south docks. Now that missed that event thing is just for the for movement. Roll so. a d6 on a three drawn event. Yep. All right. So let's take a die. Roll her up. Three plus. Come on, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Drawn event. Another event. Oh, nice. Play this card when any hero, elder, evil elder, or the villain is about to take a wound. Prevent that wound. All right. So in That's a competitive cool. game, you might actually want to keep an enemy from getting hurt. But we're playing cooperatively, so it doesn't matter. Right. So then I can encounter the square. Yep. So I can click investigation. So I have three dice. And I grab one investigation. Okay. Better than none. Yep. That's it. There's nothing to fight. I'm not doing anything else, so that's it for my turn. Okay. I pick up an investigation. Because that terrible card. Roll my movement. I think you need to do it a couple times. Wait, you get an investigation at the start of the mystery turn, not at the start of your turn. Oh, so... Okay. Mystery phase. So I would have had one. Okay. I didn't pick up the one from the mystery phase. Yeah, you should have five. Yep. Don't have, I have five, right? Yep. Okay. All right. Uh, four, I think. Huh. Uh, I could go back and, I, I'm going to go back one, two, three. I'm going to go back to my manor house since I live there. <laughs> What do I get? Meeting of the elders. Gathering in Lord Handbrook's study, the elders of the town have invited you to join their discussion of recent events. That makes sense. Um, and the dark evil that has descended upon the town. Perhaps you are finally getting their trust. Make a spirit and honor. Five plus test. Nice. So, so that's seven dice. Seven dice. Let's see if I can totally botch this one up. There's four. Five. And then three more. Boom. Okay. Wow. One, two, One, three, two four, three, four, three, four, five, four. six. Wow. That was a big You were turn. apparently a, a brilliant speaker in this uh, discussion. <laughs> Definitely. I learned a lot. That makes me want to flip the table. <laughs> Don't do that. It is fun to do. We'll do it when we're done. Okay. Um, I got money in it for next uh, next round. I'm going to go buy stuff, I think. And that's it. That's that both our turns, right? right? All right. So the mystery phase, we each gain an investigation. Booyah. I'm rich, which means I'll probably die. Do you want to roll the two dice? Roll we'll two see. dice for what happens. 
For an eight. An eight. That is murder, murder. Draw a random location on the and place three investigation there. Move the shadow track one step closer to darkness. This counts as though the mystery card murder has been played. we got to look at the vampire and make sure there's no murder, murder thing there. There is. Children of the Night. Anytime the mystery card murder is played. Okay, that wasn't a mystery card. But it counts as one, right? Know what it says? Yes. Okay. So we are also going to roll a d6. On a 4 plus, we place a succubus at a random location. All right. Well, let's see. The roll for that is a 2. No, no succubus. So we do not. So you got anything else. All right. And where do we put the investigation? Nope. We are going to put them at the marsh. The where? The marsh. Right here. The marsh. Okay. Okay. And then we draw a mystery card, right? Correct. Well, that's in play. Yes. When this card is in play, all minions and werewolves are... So they get plus one in combat. Plus one combat. Also, when adding a transformation marker to a curse, add two instead. Okay, we're probably not going to have much of this happen because we don't have any werewolves, but it could. Well, so, all uh, minions and werewolves. Yeah, oh, all you minions. A minion is a werewolf. Uh, well, all not necessarily. There are werewolves. Right? No, it's There'd all minions. minions who are werewolves. No, it's all minions and werewolves. So those succubus, oh so succubus have plus one. That's terrible. It's awful. We got two awful cards, and it doesn't say uh, gets rid of it. See, we need a, we need something to get rid of this terrible card here. We'll we'll draw something. We need to get more. Um, Events, because some of the events will allow us to get rid of them. All right. Well, I'm going to roll a die. Okay. And move six. So some places you can get good stuff for the One, monastery two, and the inn. Three, four, five, six. I'm going to go to the town. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can't, you can get to there. Six. Draw an event. Train cunning. I'm going to try and train cunning. I'd like to be more cunning. So I draw an event. Slip a lay. Ooh, good. You get plus one cunning. I'm going to take plus one cunning. Yeah. No, just take the card. I think, do you just take the card? Yeah. Oh, no, it says take, do a marker. Okay. Then you discard yep. that one. Right here. Discard it. And then uh, I will roll. I give a two investigation and make an honor five up. All right. So here are my two investigation. And I have four honor. I succeed, which means I gain another cunning. Yeah, you are a cunning person. You're at a five Con cunning. Common cunning lingu linguist. <laughs> yes, I'm very cunning. You're a cunning linguist, yeah. <laughs> All right. That's it. All right. Well, that's cool. Five. I'm going here. And buying stuff from the blacksmith with your bazillion investigation? Yep. I think I get an event, right? Draw an event? Yeah. Draw an event? Play immediately. Party invitation. Play this card on a hero. That hero may now carry one or more additional item from either the manor or the windmill. No. Doesn't. Nice. I don't think it matters which one of us well, takes it. Well, since you live in the mid, in the manor, that might be a good thing for you to have. Yep. Okay, and then buying stuff. Let's see. 
And normally you can only have one item from the Manor of the Windmill? You can only have one item from any location, from each location. So I got healing herbs, healing herbs, and silver shot. That's just against werewolves. I'll put that one back. Uh, healing herbs. I guess it, I'll buy some healing herbs. <laughs> well, so silver shot actually may only be used when using a gun in a fight, and you fight rules of six, cost two hits or three against a werewolf. Yeah. I don't have a gun. So I'm buying some, some healing herbs. Yeah, I'm buying some healing herbs for three. Okay, so now we have mystery time. And the mystery roll is an eight. Well, I think I know what that is. It's murder, murder. Got to roll, roll a d6 for the uh, succubus placement. See if we get a succubus. We do get a succubus. Okay, so that is going to go in... I just went crazy on my map here. Going in the man. Okay, so oh, great. The well, the three goes in the manor, manor, and then we're going to have succubus somewhere else randomly, right? Um, No, I think it goes to the same location. Let's see. Uh, slips into the note. Nope. Children of the night. Anytime a mystery card is played, roll a d6 at the same random location. So it's in the manor. Got to go save my family well, but and kill it. The mystery card, but the mystery card murder was not played. But um, if you look at the chart, the mystery chart on murder, murder, it says uh, this counts as though the mystery card murder had been played. Oh, got it. So, um, so we put a succubus there too, huh? Yeah. In the manor house. Succubus in the manor? All right. I really don't have any great way to kill it yet, so. Okay. Two and, fight dice says three fight dice and three wounds. And then we have to draw four mystery. fight dice against me. Yeah. And then we drew the mystery card unwelcome. If Mayor Carver is still alive, every hero must immediately make an honor six test. Well, he is because none of them are dead. If failed, the hero must roll once on the villain minion chart. So honor six. All right. Well, that's four dice for me. I do not succeed, so I roll once on the minion chart. I did succeed, so Bats. we only get one. Bats. Okay. Random location? At the abandoned keep. Got bats at the abandoned keep. Okay. Okay. Well, the oh, that's where the bats go? They don't come and fight me? Um, I don't think so. It just said, let's look at the card. Uh, roll one. No, it just says roll once on the minion chart. If he's dead or, yeah, it just says roll once on the minion chart. So doesn't say you have to fight it. It failed that hero must. So you, you succeeded? Yes. Yeah, you succeeded, but I failed. Yeah. The hero must roll once on the, the villain's minion chart. Yeah, that's what we did. That's the way we got the bats. So I got bats. Yeah, and they appeared at the... Uh, I mean, I, it didn't say they fight you, but that would make sense. Yeah, I think I get bats. Okay. So I get the bats effect. Every hero in the space can roll a d6 for each item they have. I have no items. Because no item said take one wound on a roll of a four up. All right. I take a wound. And you gain two and investigation. I gain two investigation. I don't like bats. And they're in the, uh, wherever you're at, the magister's office, huh? Well, the bats go away. They're, they don't stick around. They're done. Are you sure? I think that's all that happens. The bats fly fly through and do something terrible, and then they're gone. Because you can't fight them, so you can't get rid of them, so they don't just stay forever. All right. Yeah, that would make sense. 
No really I wonder why they have all those bat tokens. There's probably some terrible thing that happens where bats go every show up everywhere and eat their faces off. All right. <sighs> Sounds bueno. All right, that's our so that's our mystery. Yeah. That's it. All right, so I'll roll. At least it didn't stay in play. <laughs> I'm going to go to the town hall. Okay. So I get two events. Play immediately. Place a militia marker at any name space on the board. That's good. So I'll put one at the manor. Can you grab that? Yep. Okay, so I could play this on you and let you gain D6 investigation if you want. Uh, play it on yourself. I got. I still have five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, we should be getting one at the beginning of the mystery phase, right? Did we forget All that? Right. Yeah. Or hold and on to it. Now we I can, need to roll. We can hold on to that if we want. Play it later if we need it. Yeah. So I do get a mystery. Bummer. While this card is in play, all heroes are minus one fight dice. Great. Are any so of these the weather cards? One. We're minus one. And neither of these are weather cards. That's awesome. So we have three in play cards now. Wow. We need to avoid some fights. And that was, is that the end of your turn? Is that, and you still have something to do there, right? Um, oh, that was it. I could pay and heal my wound, but that's it. And I'm not going to. Okay. So roll on the mystery chart. Let's see how bad this is. Oh, you roll, right? Oh, it doesn't matter. You're, yeah, okay. Was that a 10? An 11. Wait, no, you haven't moved. Oh, you, you need to move. I didn't take my turn yet. Yeah, okay. Let's do that. Three. Going to the church. I could go to the windmill. I'll go to the windmill. See if I can get an item that can take care of some of the stuff, maybe. Plus one no, time. I get plus you may one. Ignore the effects of cards with the key word, word weather. Sweet. That's nice. Considering that you have that we have this ugly weather card right now. Yeah, that thing is crap. It's not Scottish, that's for sure. Uh-uh. <laughs> All right, and I get a cunning token. Oh, yeah. Okay. And that's my turn. So now we got to roll in the mystery chart. All right, now we roll mystery. And the mystery roll is... Dun, dun, dun. Eight. Murder, murder. Yes. Murder. <laughs> Want to roll and see if we get a succubus along with our investigation? <laughs> of course we do. Uh, naturally, okay. Where are we putting them? The monastery. All the good places. We need to get some stuff so we can start killing these things. We're being overrun by the minions, the mistresses of the dead. And then our card, got our card out. Let's see what we get. Murder. Okay, the villain is struck again. Place three investigations at a random board. Now, this time we're not going to place a succubus. Oh, wait, I think we do. So roll oh, for we that. Need to roll for the succubus? Yeah, again. It's a murder card. Oh, sorry. Roll. No succubus. Nice, but we're at, wait, are we at, uh, yeah, we're at 17 or 16? 17. But we just this. Oh this, no, that's another one, right? It's another one, yeah. And yeah, so, we're at sixteen now. And so three investigation at 
The shipwreck. At where? The shipwreck. Way over here. Summon. Uh, uh, nice at least. Yeah. So what happens if we're there? Yeah. We got the red thing. So what happens again? Um, it it means that the the villain is plus two hit points right now. Then he gets plus two here. Then plus one combat at each of these. He gets got tougher. It. Gets tougher as it gets darker. <laughs> That's it. That's our mystery phase. All right. So, oh, take a investigation. Oh yeah. Since we can't Let's roll ones, I'm gonna make myself linger. Okay. Are you gonna play that card? Just don't roll a one. <laughs> I, of course, get a roll in the minion chart. I have a five. That would be the Walking Dead. Oh, right. Here comes the Walking Dead. Nice. So they have five fight dice. Yeah, I don't know if this is going to go very well. And I am well. down to two fight dice. They only hit on sixes, and I get to reroll my misses. Yeah, but you can avoid some wounds in that, so... You're okay. And by doing that, I gain D6 investigation for that. So, the card. So, I gained five investigation. And that goes here. And uh, here's my roll to hit. And I'll reroll. You get to re-roll the one? I re-roll the one. Nice. I hit twice. Awesome. Two wounds on the walking dead. How many does he need? He has four. Four, four. okay. And then he's got how many dice against you? Five dice. He only hits on sixes, so he hits me once. Yep, nice. Ouch. Okay, I'm going again. Right? Yep. Okay, I do one more wound to him. Okay. And then he's got five dice still, right? Five dice, mm-hmm. He only hit once? Hits once. I will prevent that wound. Okay. Come on. Just need one more. Yeah. Get him. Got him. Boom. All right. He's dead. Nice. So I gained three investigation. And now I encounter the space. Gives me two events. Play this card when a hero takes one or more wounds in a fight. Prevent all those wounds and instead choose one item that a hero must discard. Okay. And here. Play to allow any hero to reroll any number of the fight dice just rolled. Oh, that's okay. those are both great cards. Hopefully get yeah. to use them. That it? I may be going to the doctor's office next. Now I roll to see if I have to roll, get a, a, a... Oh, yeah. I think, and of course I do. And these are never good. Every minion on the board immediately moves two spaces along the shortest path toward the town hall. Okay, that's not terrible. Shortest path, okay. It'll be this way. That's not a walking dead. That's a succubus, right? That is a succubus, yes. Okay. And that's it. Okay. That's it. That wasn't terrible. Okay, your turn. All right. Four. I'm coming back here and buying some stuff. So first off, I get an event.
bribery, play it any time to immediately choose a militia marker and play and move it to any other space on the board. Okay. Oh, okay. So you can move a militia. Okay, and then uh, I'm going to draw some town item cards, see what I get. I think I already know what I'm going to take. It's already up. I mean, I could buy as many of these as I want. Um, wow, I can use spirit instead of combat. Or I get this guy, discard any soldier ally. Dude, I would buy the old map. Plus one honor. Yep. I'm going to buy it's both these. Two. I, I can buy both, I think. I have ten. Five. Six. Okay. Ten. Cannot get these and in these the... shuffle, right? Yeah. And I cannot carry any more town items. You have three, I believe. I should probably look that up, but I think you can have three. Okay. So that's it for your turn. So let's roll the event. Let's roll the murder. Uh, Roll is a three. That's not murder. That's something different. Hey, something different. Probably three is cursed village. Immediately draw and resolve one mystery card for each hero, starting with the first player. This replaces the normal mystery card draw. So we're going to draw oh, two mystery cards. Oh, we also get one uh, investigation each. Yep. Because, yeah, because I'm down to two now. <laughs> but okay, I got some so good stuff. I got mystery. good stuff. The villain struck again and placed three investigation. It's murder. <laughs> my, mis my mystery is murder. All right. I'm going to roll for the not succubus. Very mysterious at this point. We did not get a succubus. And the location is the Forgotten Island. Okay. All right. I thought you said we didn't get a succubus. Oh, we didn't. Yeah, you're right. We didn't. My bad. I am just want to make us go crazy. And your mystery? That's going to be a succubus. <laughs> no, no. Agents of evil. Roll once on the villain minion chart and place a... Minion at a random location and move and the track. And of course, more darkness. More darkness. We did this last time. We were not lucky with that track. No. All right. Oh, it's just one die, right? Where are you? What'd you roll? It's one die. I rolled a four. Four. Walking Dead. And they are. Dun, dun, dun. In the icy waters. Naturally, that's where they belong. Okay. That wasn't terrible, except for the darkness track. Yeah, the darkness track is kind of flying right along. <laughs> it's going to keep us... Okay, in. so it's my turn. I rolled a two. Uh, I think I'm going to go to the doctor's office first. Okay. Heal myself for two wounds. You get a event there too, right? Yep. Yep. I do get an event. And the event I get. Give to, ooh, event. Give to any hero, minion, or villain plus two combat for one fight round. Nice. Yay. That'll help me get rid of one of those succubi. Yep. Well, I can use spirit now for combat. That's not too bad. It's better than it was, but you can train spirit unlike combat. Yep. Which is, I think, I, I might do that now. Now let's see what I roll first. Okay. Three. I can't get too far. Might as well do that. I'm right next to the succubus, but okay. So I'm going to draw an event. Okay. 
Shocking discovery. Choose a town a- uh, elder with one or more unrevealed secrets. Um, reveal one of those secrets. Gain two investigation if it's a little secret, four if it's anything else. Okay, so I will uh, go for our big dude, my, my dad. I'm going to reveal the secret of my father. What is it? It's a little secret, full of lies. Without shame or remorse, the town elder spins tales of their exploits and sows seeds of deceit amongst their rivals. No deed is too small to steal credit for. No amount of praise is ever enough. Okay, so we know he's so it's a got... a little secret, so you gain two investigation. Yes. Which I'm just going to spend because I'm going to um, make an honor roll. What's your bribery card do? What? Oh, the uh, allows me to. Okay, four dice. I need four dice. All right, I got. Yeah, I succeeded. So I gained plus one spirit. All right. All right. That's the end of my okay. turn. Okay. Let's roll the eight and get it over with. A two. That can't be good. No, that's got to be real. Surprise showdown. You have stumbled into the villain's lair. Immediately draw a lair card and move every hero to that space. A showdown takes place. Did you draw Okay. It? And the lair is... The North Docks. North Dock. We are in no position to be fighting this dude either. What are you talking about, man? We got this. Did it say we can't bring an elder? You don't bring any elders. Okay. We don't form a posse. We don't do anything. We just fight the vampire. So, got a whopping three against him. Okay, so we're at minus one, and he's plus one. Yep. Oh, you're not at minus one, though. No, I'm not. I got three dice against him. And we can play this, too, right? We got this card we can add. Where is it? Reroll any number of fight dice. Add plus two to combat. Yes, I have those. I have all of those cards. However, since none of them are items, I'm probably just going to go ahead and get my ass kicked. Why? <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, we're not. We're both going to have to roll and fight him anyway. Yep. Okay, so let's get our dice pull out. We're, uh, you can roll. Go ahead. And then I'll roll, and then we'll see what he does to us. Okay, well, he has five. He has six combat. <sighs> yep. No, he has seven. Right? Oh, wait. He only has five. Plus he this. has six. He plus, doesn't. He doesn't get. He's not a minion or a werewolf, so he no. doesn't get the plus one combat from the moon. Oh, that's plus two to his health. Okay, so not. No, he's just five. Six, right? No, it's five. No, it's five. five. Okay, there's his dice. Uh huh. And he rolls against. We roll against him, and then and it's simultaneous. So, do you want to go first? Or you want me to go first? Well, I only have two dice the first round. Okay. Well, then I guess I'll roll. I have three. Woohoo! And I don't get to use my heroic abilities this round, so I do no wounds to him. Okay, and he does only one wound. Excellent. Um, make sure it's about his abilities. Oh man, if no wounds are done to the fight to the vampire during a fight round, he immediately escapes. Roll a d6 on right, a four. Right, but you attack too, right? Yes. Um, just want to make sure we don't miss anything. Okay. And then I roll three dice. So I'm using my spirit. Two hit wounds him on him. Yeah. Now he has a special ability on a five up to ignore the hits. So he rolls two dice. See if you get a five up on those. Okay. 
No. He does not ignore, so he takes two hits. Two hits. Then he rolled five dice against you. He hits twice, and I will have those miss you. And he did not flee the, the fight. Well, that, wouldn't that be really uh, you funny? Do have an item you can discard? Do I? Mm. Do you have an item you can afford to discard? I mean, I could discard the old map or the... Okay, great. I can have him not hit you. Because he hit you twice. Okay. But I can have knocked away. Play this card when any hero, including yourself, takes one or more wounds in a, to a fight, prevent all those wounds, and instead choose one item that hero must discard. Well, the old map so gives me one that. honor, and that's really awesome, but I'll discard that. It just goes back to the uh, town deck anyway. So I could buy it again if I want. If right. I get it. So. Now we go into uh, round I'm two. I'm going to attack him with four dice using my plus two dice. You know, he's only got 12 hits. We could kill him. <laughs> only got 12. Great. We got this. Hit all four times. That would be really awesome. And I get to reroll the misses. Yep. Boom! So I hit one twice. Twice. And he rolls two dice, right? I re roll those and see if he ignores them. He ignores one of them, so he takes a wound. Okay. One wound. He rolls five dice. He has 12 hits, so he has the wounds times the p number of players? Yeah, plus... Uh, the, no, it's wounds times... Number of what's his wounds? Five. He so seven. He has, he has ten. Seven wounds, right? No, he has ten. Uh, and then plus two for uh, the shadow track. So total of twelve. He gets five per player in a cooperative game. I hit him three times. You have five dice. Oh no! I'm sorry. He hit you three times. <laughs> Can you stop it? Nope. I'm knocked out. KO'd. So you just roll, you're just going to lose some investigation. It's not the worst thing. Okay. I doubt we're going to get to keep this fight going much longer, but I'll attack him back. I missed him every time. And then he's going to roll five dice. And he hit me twice, so I'm KO'd as well. Okay, so I need to roll a d6 and lose that much investigation. Of course it'll be six, because why would it be, you know, one? I rolled a two. That's exactly... The same as three, four, five, or six for you. Well, no, because you can lose well, items. sucked. You can lose items, too. Yeah, I don't have any items. No, but I could have. If oh, I that's rolled. true. Yeah. Um, okay, there's something about him healing. Oh, I'm going to use that and not lose my sixth investigation. Okay. Because I want to buy some items. He'll, next, next round, he'll heal D3. Yep. So by the time we go back and find him again, all those wounds are going to be gone. It seems likely. Yeah. I mean, I kind of hope so. Well, you can buy a bunch of stuff. So you move back here. You're KO'd too, right? I move back to the man. So we just sit there. We have no turn, right? That's right. We are both knocked out. We were knocked out during the showdown phase, right? Yep. So KO'd heroes... Um, oh no, start of the mystery phase. So that happened. There's not a showdown phase. So then we're, we're start of the mystery phase. We get knocked out. Then we're KO'd and revived. Then the villain heals. But wasn't that showdown the, the uh, in the mystery phase? Then we draw a mystery card, yep. 
That's so we're going to skip our turn. No, we don't skip a turn. Yeah. Because we that we started the mystery phase, we rolled, and we had the surprise showdown. Then right. we were knocked out. So we KO'd and revived. No, then the villain, villain heals D3. No, because that was no longer the oh, no, start of the mystery, mystery phase. Yeah, no, no, that's right. That happened. So yeah, we so so we skip a turn. Yep. So roll on the mystery chart. We're revived. He gains first. We roll a D three for him to see how many wounds he gains. Yeah, he's going to get him all back. He gains two. Then we roll on the chart. Five. Five is. Darkness falls. The shadow track immediately moves D3 steps closer to darkness. The heroes may t- collectively take five wounds, divided as they see fit. That just knocks both of us out. So, yeah, I don't think we'll be doing that. No, we'll just take three. It'll move three forward. That's fine. Okay. We're going to lose completely. <laughs> We're nowhere <laughs> close to winning. <laughs> That's just awesome. Woo! Hey, uh, if you're just joining us, chime in and say hello. Um, okay. All right, so now. Then we have a mystery card. We do. Which I'm sure is something great. Mystery death. If Dr. Manning is still alive, roll a D6 for every ally and animal item currently in play. I don't have any allies or animals. I don't either. Okay, so that doesn't do anything. A non-event. That's a mystery to have. That's amazing. And it's my turn to roll here. I roll a one. So are you going to buy stuff? And So I draw a mystery card. <laughs> yep. Nice. Oh, we should get two investigation, too, because we had the oh, two mystery two, phases. Two, right, that's right. We should have two. And my mystery is minus one cunning. I have the devil's mark. So all that cunning. So I have to, I'll leave that there. <laughs> Great. Okay. So I know I'm at four cunning. I'm at the blacksmith, and I got three. I have three items possible. Yeah, they're right there. I got them out for you. Had a jacket, an old map, and an old map. Take both <laughs> of them. You can't get two old maps, but you can get the two other items for eight. I can get all of those for ten, right? You can only have one type of the same item, though. I can't have two of the same item. No. All right, so let's buy, spend eight. And for those those watching, um, it's a house rule drawing the three cards and buying because it makes it easier to keep, so you don't have to flip through all the cards in the uh, deck. But that worked out, though. You got uh, an extra health now as a result. Yeah. Okay, is that it? Okay. Um, I think I might linger. I don't think I have a card from my the manor house anymore, and there's investigation sitting there too. Um, and the militia's there, so I'm gonna linger. Uh, did not nothing, nothing happen. Nothing bad happens. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, encounter the the space. A saber. Boom. Nice. Plus one honor. That was honor. a pretty good choice. Yep. There you go. Something to fight Although with, not that finally. Great for you, because you don't use combat. But it gives me plus one honor, too. I can now. Now my combat is equal to my spirit anyway. Um, And then I'm going to attempt to get these investigation. What is it? It's a cunning roll? Cunning or spirit, right? So three dice? Uh, it is... A cunning roll. Uh, okay. So it's two dice. Spirit or cunning. So either Spirit way. or cunning. So three dice. You're three on either one, on both of them, right? Yeah. Okay. And I got none of them. Excellent. Because it's a five or six, right? Yep. yep. Yep, I got none of them. All right. So let's see what terrible thing happens to us now. Seven. Surge of evil. Roll once in the villain menu chart. And work out the results. If it's some any, if the villain attacks or something, we reroll. 
That'll be a succubus. Yep. And she's going to be where? At the town square. <laughs> nice. <laughs> just daring us to come deal with it, right? <laughs> yeah. That's just awesome. All right. And uh, then we have a mystery. Oh, Murder! God. Murder. <sighs> At the Old Woods. Right down Where? here. Old Woods. Oldie Wood. All right. And on four up, we get a little friend. Oh, I didn't roll. I'll roll that. Well, yeah, we, we, get a we still friend. get a little friend. All right, here she is, lovely lady. And then we draw our mystery card. I already did a mystery card. That got it. That was the mystery. Oh, card. that was the mystery card. Okay, never mind. All right, now I'm gonna roll. My turn to move. Two. I'm going to go to the magistrate's office. I'm going to draw an event. Okay, cool. Another don't lose anything thing. And then I'm going to take an honor test. I have five dice. Okay. It's been two investigation. Let's just use these five right here. They worked well for the bad guy. <laughs> I gain. You got it. Cunning. Nice. You are quite cunning. Which makes my cunning five because of my stupid devil's mark. That helps with the gathering investigation. Okay. All right. Oh, we didn't gather our investigation for the beginning of the last mystery phase either. Oh, yeah. That's a hard one to remember. All right. I'm going to roll my, roll my movement. Six. Nice. Already got a windmill card. How tough are these succubus? Are they nasty? Uh, they're not too bad. They gain plus one fight against a male, so I should fight them. So they have three dice. Yep. They are minions. So they have four, right? They have three dice total. Oh, three they dice have, total. They normally have two. And they gain they plus... They have three because of, your, because of the moon. Yeah, and they gain plus one fight dice against men. Yep, which you are decidedly and if they roll not. A, if they roll a six, they get two hits each. They're still pretty nasty. I don't think I'm ready for them. Couldn't move the militia there and fight him. I have that ability, that want that card that allows me to do that once. Or we have that card somewhere in here. Or I could just go one, two, three, four, five, six. Go to the church, get more spirit. Well, I have to. <laughs> yeah, I, I I don't remember. Can I just blow by her? As long as I don't land in her space, I think I'm okay. Moves into space with a minion counter. Their move ends and they must fight before taking yeah, actions. Yeah, that's what... Let's say I can't get to the church without going through her. And I can go around this way, but it'd mean a useless turn. But that looks like that's the way to go. Yep. Okay. All it's right. my turn. All right. We roll... A three. Cursed Village. Immediately draw and resolve one mystery card for each hero. That takes place of the mystery card draw. So I'll draw one. Murder! <laughs> How many of those have we drawn? I swear to God. All right. Um, and we got a succubus wherever that went. At the docks? The docks. That's the beach. Where's the there's the docks right there. Okay. 
Way over here. Where are the ducks? Right there. Oh, did you roll to see if she if she comes in, or is that one already been? I there? did. I rolled a six. Oh, she's there. Yep, I just put her there. Fantastic. And then my mystery card. If Reverend Harding is still alive, roll a d6 for every book currently in play. Don't have a book. I don't have any books. Is the old map a book? <laughs> uh, we also get one investigation each. One investigation for me, one investigation for you. And then we actually do our mystery card. Oh, you gave me an investigation. Okay. No, we. it takes place in the mystery card phase. So, yeah, we don't All we right. don't get another one. Okay, so we don't get another one. That's fantastic. Got to get a, some relief somewhere. All right, so rolling my turn. Five. Go to the blacksmith. I really need to get a weapon. Go there. You got plenty of money. You know, there's weapons in the abandoned keep too. But it's a it's a chance. One, you take a chance. Two. Yeah, let's just go to the blacksmith. See what I get. That looks like plus a two musket, combat. A musket, a pistol, and the captain of the watch. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Unfortunately, I can't afford the friggin' musket. Oh no! You can get the pistol. I will take the pistol. That guy's expensive too. He's eight. Did you get your event card for going there? Oh, no. Maybe it'll give me some money. Knocked away. All right. Well, it keeps us healthy in a fight. All right. All right. That's my turn. Oh, yeah. Two. Just enough, I guess. Going to the church. To the church. Going to pay two. Oh, I got to draw an event. I'll handle this. Play this card at the start of any fight turn involving another hero to remove that hero from the fight and immediately move that hero. Okay, you can we, we can replace each other in a fight. Not that great for us. Dude. So no, that lets you step in and push me out of the way, and you you get to you gain you gain additional fight dice equal to your honor. Oh, for the fight. Right, and I should have read that whole thing. That's normally successful, so that's pretty sexy. Yeah, that's that's. I'll save that for something important. Okay, and then I get or, or for a fight. I get five dice for my honor. Which I succeeded at. You succeed. Another point of spirit. All right, let's see what... And our roll... Three! <laughs> I know what that is. We yeah. get mysteries. Cursed Village! Two mysteries. Every hero must immediately roll a d6. Whoever rolls lowest must resolve a single fight round with the villain. <laughs> well, at least it's just one fight round. Yeah, okay. what's the worst that could happen? All right, so we roll I rolled a, a six. You rolled a six? Yeah. I rolled a four. So who fights him? Whoever rolls the lowest. Did you roll? Yeah, I rolled a six. It's right here. You rolled a six? Yeah. Okay, so I fight the villain. So I have one, two, three dice. He has five dice. Oh, I'm sure his one point of damage is gone by now. Oh, yeah. I'll reroll those. I hit him exactly zero times. Okay.
He hit, um, this one's cocked. He hit zero, uh, times. zero times. Nice. There, okay. that's it. So that happens and we're done. Non event. No, I got to do, I got to do mine. Yep. Um, the Order's Influence. Play this card on the, on Mayor Carver while he is alive. All town items cost an extra two investigation. So where's Mayor Carver? I don't know, but I'm going to kill him. He's over here. Yep. Mayor Carver needs to die. Okay. Town items cost two more because the mayor doesn't like us. I hate that guy. And now we get to take our turns. So when do you think you'd be getting Gloomhaven? Did it tell you? What? When you're going to get Gloomhaven? What did you say? Do you know when you're getting your Gloomhaven game? Did you get a tracking number? Yeah. It comes in to tomorrow it's by tomorrow. end of day. Okay. That's awesome. Man, wait till you break that thing out. It's so chock full of stuff. All right. So that's the end of that. Oh, we get one investigation. Oh, yeah. Keep forgetting about that. Uh, there, I will roll my turn. Four. One, two. One. I'm going to go to the windmill. Yeah, get a windmill item. Investigation. Make a cunning 5-plus test and gain one investigation for every 5-plus rolled. Because you found some broken spectacles. Okay. And I have 5 cunning. Yeah, nice. I gain one investigation. <laughs> oh, well. It's better than none. That is that. That's the end of my windmilling. Okay. Roll to six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I'm heading to the crossroads. Start getting over here and checking this stuff out. Okay, roll a d6 on a 3 plus draw an event on a 1 or 2 draw a mystery. 4. Event. event. Party invitation. I just in here that hero may now carry one additional card from either the manor or the windmill. You could take that because I already have one. Okay. So that is now yours. Okay. That's the end of our turns. Okay, so now we're to the next thing. We gain an, a gain an investigation. Back up to four. That's nice. And we get the twelve. Ooh, <laughs> sign of the dark omen. One of the town elders previously thought dead stumbles back into town. Well, we don't have to worry about that. The player immediately chooses any dead town elder. Okay. Town Elder had to... Okay, I'm looking to see what happens. If there are no dead Town Elders, the first player instead chooses a Town Elder to gain a Resolve Token. That's cool. That means they mm -hmm. have to... Be, that means they get to take the Resolve Token off instead of do something else. Instead of dying? Yep. Or anything. Anything bad. Um, might be good to put it on Lord Han Handbrook since he's already got a... Well, I don't know. Or the Reverend. Reverend Harding is pretty good. Yeah. Two fight dice against versus any vampire, ghost, or demon. I mean, they all have a good perk, but his is pretty good in this particular scenario. What do you think? Who? Put it on the Reverend. Yeah. The Reverend has resolve. Okay. That was not even a bad mystery okay. phase. Now yeah, just a now card. A mystery card, right? Yep. Player who drew this card must immediately choose any ally in play to join the villain. You don't have one, right? Do you have any allies? I don't. 
Just double checking. Do you checking. have any allies? No. I don't either. Perfect. Non-event. Woohoo! That is a lovely. That's the best mystery phase we've ever had. It is. All right. I move two. That'll be the fields. Now, when you move out of there, you have to roll to see which direction you go in. That's what oh, that means. Oh, want to go to the fields? Yeah. Actually, I think that's just the minions. Um... Five. That means I get an event. Play to gain two fight dice for each other hero in your space for a single attack, or play to prevent up to three hits to any other hero or town elder in, elder in your space. That's nice. pretty good. That it? All right. That's it. Okay, I rolled a two. I'm getting far today. I'm going to go one, two to the uh, bog. Roll a d6. All right. Five. Got an event. I keep hoping we get an event that cancels one of these cards. Play to give any hero or town elder plus two cunning for the rest of the turn. It's pretty good. Okay. Four. Oh, yeah, some other time. All right, so we got that. And then I'm going to try and get these investigations here. Okay, so that goes on your stack. Well, that's just our community cards, the event cards. You got Ooh. them both. Okay. Awesome. And now we do the thing. Yeah, the fun fun part. Six. We both get an investigation. Yes. And we do got March of Darkness. Every minion on the board moves two spaces along the shortest path to the town hall. Well, so there's two town halls. So the ones on one. this one will go to town square. So this succubus goes two. to town square. This one, so there's two creatures in a town square. This one's going to go here. One, two. You have two in the town square now. That's just awesome. <laughs> Don't know if I, th I thought there was a thing where if they're both occupying the same space, something happens. Hmm. Say anything on our event, our summaries? Nope. Trying to find where it says that, but I'm pretty. I was. I thought that you could only have one minion on a space. That makes sense. So she stops at the church. I think that ideal pushes the minions. other mi minion somewhere. Gotta find that rule. Trying to see what it says about that. Is displaced in the next adjacent space on the shortest route back to the town hall. A minion already at the town hall that would be displaced. It instead removed from the board, remove the shadow track one step closer to darkness. Okay, <laughs> so we take one of these off. And we're down to nine. Hey, by the way, we can it only costs us one to find the lair of the uh the <laughs> <laughs> of the villain now. <laughs> that also happens over here, by the way. So that actually was twice. So we're at eight? Yeah. Or seven. No, we're at seven. Wow. We're not, for a game that's kind of Scooby-Doo, we're pretty not good at it. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I'll roll. Okay. Six, which means I'm going to go that way. One. Yay. That means I get, instead of an event, I get a mystery. Okay. 
play this card on Dr. Manning while he's alive in here on the doctor's office space at the start of the mystery phase. Must pass a cunning five or take D6 hits. Oh, Great. so instead so of healing us, office. instead of healing us, he does bad things to us. He's a giant jerk face. Man, this, he's right here, right there. Right there? Yep. Ass hat. I know. Is that it? And that's my turn. Yeah. My awesome turn. Roll to three. Don't really want to go by the succubus. Man, we're just not, I mean, with all the bonuses, this is rough. Well, I have a, I have five dice against her, but I'm minus one, right? Uh, you're not because you have the thing, oh, that that thing keeps you from losing. I think I'm going to go try and kill her. Okay, so I have five dice. Got two hits on her. One, two. They have three. So she gets to hit me back. She got she has two has dice. Three dice. Three dice. You. Okay. Mm -hmm. We have cards. We have cards that can help. That can help. She does not hit you. Nice. So all I need to do is hit her once, and I hit her twice. Okay, so she dies. She does. She still gets to roll against me, though. So you gain four investigation. Yeah, you still got to roll against me. Then we're going to then gain another investigation because it's the start of the mystery phase. Um. Yeah, but we got to roll. She gets. She got to hit me back in that fight round. Oh, does she? Yeah. So she hit me she hit you once. Twice. Once. Nope. Look at the succubus. A six is one hit. Uh, succubus fight dice rolls si a roll of six does two. Oh, hits. that's two hits. Oh well, I'll use my thing to keep you from lose to let you go back, let you go to the uh, town square and not lose anything. If you want, okay. or if you want to dump an event. Is there anything in just... Well, I have, I'll, I'll handle this over here. Okay. What does that do? Do you want to dump an item? Um, or do you want... Or do you want to just not lose anything and go to the town square? I can dump... Well, you know what? Discard at any time except during a fight round. Oh, well, forget that. I'll dump the healing herbs. So I can okay. stay where I'm at. And I'll discard knocked away so that you are fine. Okay. Okay. So the roll for the table. Ten. Ambush in the night. Every hero rolls a d6 and adds their cunning. Whoever has the lowest is immediately attacked by one of the villain, villain's minions. Roll once in the villain minion chart. and this place going to go well for you. Place it in the hero's space. During the first fight round, the hero may not use any items, allies, or abilities. Okay. Oh, okay, I'm probably going to get attacked. I have a seven. Yeah. You have a six? Yeah. No, five. Six. So you get attacked. Okay. By a... What's a so two? You have a combat of two, right? Yeah. No, I get attacked by bats. Oh, a bat. Roll a d6 for each item. Okay. I'll start with uh, this thing here, whatever. Left to right. Three. Nope. Okay, the saber. Four. Nope. Runic amulet. Four. Nope. I don't think that's an item, right? I that's think... it. That's it. Okay. You don't lose any. Okay, so nothing happens. Turned out pretty well. Yeah, and this. Then we get our mystery card. This card's just in our pile. Yeah. Okay. Mystery Conspiracy play this on Reverend Harding while he is alive in here.
town space must roll a d6 on a roll what of one the two. They're attacked by by order of the crimson hand. Okay, so Reverend Harding. That's him. If we're in Jack a town ass. space. That's so fantastic. Anytime right, we're so in a town space, turn. we're getting too much to keep track of here. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Six. I'm going to go to the manor house. Um, I get a manor card. Danger poison. Make an honor five test and gain two investigation for every five plus ruled. Uh, five plus rolled. All right, so I have five honor. Nice. Boom. I gained six investigation. That's pretty boss. That is. Then, uh, Then I'm going to roll my five cunning to see if I can pick up that investigation. And I get one of them. All right. Okay. Five, but let me see. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I'm going to the monastery, actually. Um, and I'm going to try and pick up this... Um, Investigation first, because I can buy things at the monastery. Three. So you get a monastery card, right? No, um, I uh, not yet. I will, but yeah, because um, I can do these in any order. So I got one more investigation, one of these ones here. Okay, and then um, yeah, I got to draw a monastery card. Secret ritual. Take a six test. Gain three investigation. You you're six. attacked by order of the crimson hand. Yep. So you have three cunning. Yeah. You oh, fail, nothing. so you're attacked by order of the crimson hand. So what the heck does that mean? Uh, there should be a card or something. Out. Here it is. Where are they? They're here somewhere. Uh, flip. There they are. Order of the Crimson Hand. Four fight dice, two fight dice, four wounds. I think they have a special too. Order of the Hand gains one yeah. fight dice for every wound they have taken. So you got to try and kill them fast. Okay, so they currently have three fight dice because they're a minion. Yep, and I'm going to fight with five fight dice. So they have three fight dice. Yep. And you have five? five. Yeah, five. Three wounds right off the bat. Two, three. Here's their three dice. And they have, they roll two. They have three. They have three, yeah. This round they have three. They hit Ugh. me twice. Oh, man. Do we don't have a card? Uh, you'll just go to the town square. I can't block. I can't keep him from hitting you. Well, either way, I'm going to town square. Yeah, I can keep you from losing anything. Yeah, I think I'll just have to do that. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'll just go to town square. You don't have to use that. I am KO'd. So I got to roll a d6. What do I lose? Three things. Lost three investigation. Okay. Our lovely cooperative event is murder. In the church. I'll roll for the succubus. Nope, no succubus. No succubus? Nope. Yay. Then we get a mystery. 
Draw a random location and place a blocked road marker in any one empty adjacent road space. Move the shadow track one step closer to darkness, of course. Okay, so the space is going to be the fields. Fantastic. So uh, I'll roll, and we'll use the markers right there on it. So it's blocked right there. Where? Uh, on the uh, manor side. Okay. Got to find a block marker. Hmm. Don't see a block marker. Well, since there are no crows, I'll just use a crow token. We know that is a block marker. <laughs> okay, great. Okay. Now, you might want to move the militia to the town square. You have a card that lets you move, move militia, right? Yes. Um, I might as well put these on the villains so we know. He's got two, uh, two extra wounds, right? Actually, I'm not going to do that because we know it's on the chart. Okay. Um, yeah, plus four wounds and plus one combat. Yep. Okay. So that was the mystery phase. You flip. You flip. We both gain an investigation. Yep. All right. Oh, and the mystery card. That was the mystery card. Yeah, that was okay. the mystery card. Yep. Great. So it's my roll. Two. Oh, I'm going to linger at the manor. Sorry. Yeah, that's a pretty good place. Make a cunning four plus. So you found a secret passage. Five dice for four up. Well, on my turn, I'm going to be fighting a second. Those guys go away, right? What? The, the secret ritual is gone, so. Yes, it's gone. Five dice for four up. I succeed. I gain two. Investigation. And get to go to another name space. Monastery is good. Where can I buy? You can stuff? buy uh, right here. Monastery. Yeah, yeah. You can buy town. I also buy town items here, but I think they're they cost an extra one right now, right? But the monastery. Oh, they, this counts as the town. This place right here, where this undead is, where it says town square. But there's a creature there. Oh, by coastal town. So that's a different thing. Um, let's go to the monastery. Okay. And the first thing I'll do at the monastery is try and grab that stuff. Negative Ghost Rider. Then I encounter the monastery. At the Book start of, of each life. of your turns. You may heal one wound. Oh, that's nice. That's a you can discard it to fully heal too. Yep, that is pretty spicy. And then I'm gonna buy stuff at the monastery. Yep. Pull three items out. Yep. Yep. Spirit one, honor one. Ooh, sacred chalice. I think I'm going to buy the Sacred Chalice. Okay. That's going to cost me eight. And it is very worth it. It is very worth it, yeah. 
Because it also says one. you may cancel in any of any event or mystery card after each use roll a d6. On a one or two, you lose yeah. the chalice. That's pretty powerful. Dang, look at you. Stats, dude. <laughs> can't you go kill the, min the, the villain yet? Dude, I can't. I have no hope against the villain. <laughs> At all. So it's my turn. Okay. I have to fight the succubus that's in the town square. Use your thing that lets you move the... Use your bribery card. Oh, move yeah, the yeah. There. Yeah, I'll do that. Oh, I don't lose this, though. Let's just play. So, yeah, okay, I'll play it. Gives me six fight dice and an extra wound. And you end your move in a town square, so you might get attacked by the Order of the Crimson Hand. Yep. I got two wounds in that fight round. You did two wounds? Yeah. They got three dice, right? The succubus? Succubus has three dice. She did no wounds to me. She doesn't hit you. And you have six dice, right? Yeah. She did. Finish her off. She does get to hit me back, though. She got two wounds on me, of course. There's one wound. No, two. The six. Huh? It's two because of the six. Oh, six. So but I only take I only take one. Again. No, I take one because the militia takes the other. Oh, does he automatically take the other? Um, it's up to uh, it's a it's a wound slot. Okay. So the militia dies. Yep. And then I can encounter the space, so I get an event. Oh, I get two four, events. I get investigation for killing her. Did you give me that? Four. You I did. haven't given okay. me the four yet. I'll I'll pull them out. Okay. Now I'm gonna draw an event card. I say play to search the event discard pile and take one any one non play immediately card from So we could take any card out of the discard pile now. Any one card. We don't have to do it now. Uh, we don't have to do it now. We can do what we want. Um and don't I have to do something at the town hall? Huh? Don't I have to do something you in got a town. Two events. Did you draw your two events? No, but I. Isn't there no, you something? Just two events. Okay. You roll a one or two, you roll a die, and on one or two, you get a mystery as well. Okay. Search for two truth. Play and look at a town under a secret without revealing it. You may discard any number of these secrets by paying one investigation each. Okay. Well, let's do that. I guess we'll. Set, well, we gave him resolve. Let's pick somebody else. No, let's pick him. We want him in our party there, right? We do. Servant of Darkness. Well, there's there we go. Pain of investigation to get rid of it. He's no longer well, a, to get rid of. No longer a servant of darkness. We hope. Well, not currently anyway. But he gets a new secret. Yes. Okay. Okay, and, and then, I think that's it, right? Yep. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So we both get an investigation. I'm bringing it over. And then let's roll for what happens on the chart of doom. Ten. Isn't that the one we're Ambush in the night. Every hero rolls a d6. Whoever has lowest immediately uh, is immediately attacked by a villain minion. I have a seven. No, it's just a straight roll. You have a seven, right? No, I rolled a four. All right, well, let's roll again. No, it's just whoever rolls the lowest. Oh, add their cunning. Yeah, yeah. Okay. A six plus whatever. 
I rolled an eight. I have a nine. Okay. So I am going you to rolled, be attacked. You didn't roll it. You didn't roll an eight. You rolled a nine. No cut. Oh yeah, nine. Got three. Yeah. All right. So we roll again. One. All four. Right, so okay. So you are attacked. And I'm going to be attacked by a three. Wolves. Wolves. Only one fight round. Three fight dice. They they hit on a four, five, or six. Ouch. They're going to knock me out. Right, here come the wolves on you. Okay. They don't hit. Nice. I'm going to use... I got six dice. Two hit... Uh, one hit. One right? hit. So you gain one investigation. And drive off... Not the bad. Drive off the scary wolves. Nope. Then we get a mystery card. Widow Jessica. Oh my god. Anytime the shadow track moves, I'm going to try and discard that. I'm going to use the chalice to get rid of that. Okay. And uh, try not to roll a one or two. Okay, I lost the chalice. Oh, really? On the first thing, huh? Yeah, of course. We just suck at this. <laughs> <laughs> Why would it go any other way? All right, so it's my turn. Five. One. I'm going to do the Forgotten Isle. Okay. Roll five dice to pick up that. Oh, sorry. Roll five dice. How about roll? Dang. One, two, three, four. Got I get all. all of the investigation. Got them all. And at the forgotten aisle. Danger magic. Make a spirit six test. And we're going through because exit. Ooh. Spirit six. Ooh, I don't get cursed. It's only three. It was four, but it isn't anymore. All right. Oh, wait. Yeah, spirit three. Yes, I made it. you did it. Three investigation for every six rolled. Yay. And no curse. That is really good. Yes, I'm not a werewolf. Yeah. Although that would have given me Plus two fight, I think. Kind of fitting to go <laughs> go fight the vampire like that, right? Yeah. All right. Oh, my movement. Four. Hmm. I guess. We'll go to the blacksmith. You want to get out of town, otherwise you're going to get attacked by... Oh, yeah, that's right. Stupid thing. Do I have an... Well, I one third of the time you're going to attack by the Crimson Order. I'm wondering, I'm looking to see, I do not, okay, I don't have a uh, abandoned keep card, but I have to go through her to get there. So, there's people in my way, John. Um, I'll jump in. Okay. I'm going to do the jump into the fight thing. Okay. Raw. Come get her. Okay, so I'm fighting. I'm normally four. I'm down three, so I'm three, and then I gain five for my honor, so I have eight dice. With rerolls. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty awesome. You should kill her. I like my chances. There's one more dice on my way over there. You I did. kill her without rerolls. Oh, yeah. I you do killed six her. points of damage. You killed her like 18 times over. Okay. She gets three dice back, right? She, she did not hit you. Me. She dice? gets one more die against me. Because I'm a dude. She hits you Which twice two. for two. Okay. I can handle that. 
Nice. And I gained eight for killing her. That was very good. Okay. That was the that was actually my turn. All right, so gain a investigation. One for you. One for me. The chart. Um, see what terrible thing happens. Seven. We just get a surge of evil. Roll once and place a minion. Yep. Four. That will be undead. Undead. Right, At the covered bridge. Covered bridge. Where? The covered bridge? Yeah. Excellent. There we go. Okay. Okay. And our card, right? Yep. <laughs> Roll once. It's Agents of Evil. Roll once on the minion chart. Place a minion plus the shadow track goes down one more. Bats. Excellent. Bats is perfect. Yep. Where Unless do they go? The old it doesn't woods. matter where it is. Doesn't matter. They they none of us are in a named location, so nothing happens. Yep. They appeared at the old woods and disappeared. Yep. Okay. All right. So my turn. Roll. Five. Let's try the abandoned keep. Yeah. Wait. One, two, three. Yep. Okay, so the abandoned keep. Ooh. Boom. Cunning combat and wound. That is pretty spicy. You got the Scarlet Shadow as a follower. That's pretty awesome. Or are you now the Scarlet Shadow? I don't know which. Oh, it says ally. Yeah, okay. So, two more combat. One more cunning. And I got a bucket of wounds. Sure we can't take on the villain? That's it for me. <laughs> okay, I'll roll the six. I'm going to go to the bandit keep as well. Hopefully I get just as lucky. Honor plus spirit, six. Okay. Interesting. All right. Well, one, three, four, five. A five or six honor. I can never remember. Nine. Nine, right? total, yeah, nine total dice. Got eight there, so I have to roll one more. What have to roll? <laughs> so, let's hope you get a six on this one die. Unbelievable. Nope. <laughs> I take, uh, if I fail, I immediately take D6 wounds and move the shadow track too closer. Seriously? We're on a two. <laughs> and I took one wound. Still take up. Take a wound. Oh, I'm not up. Which is all you need. <laughs> yep. KO'd. The problem with her youth thing, it's cool because she heals. Oh, wait, I don't have that wound. I heal at the beginning of every round. Right. So I, I got, I just have one wound on me. I'm still standing. Okay. That was my whopping turn. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and just end this right here. Yep. I think we're done. We gain an investigation. You roll the five. five. Darkness falls. Shadow track immediately moves. Okay, we're done. That's it. We lost. And we lose. Boom. Well, at least we played it right. <laughs> uh. Well, there's a whopping a loss. A lot of investigation at the end. Yeah, yeah, was, yeah. We were we were wealthy. I had ten, eleven. Yeah, I don't 12. think I've ever had that much investigation before. I had fifteen, sixteen right, investigation. Yeah, flip it. How many you got? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Four. 
27. 27. Wow. Well, we were we we died wealthy. <laughs> All right. And here comes the table flip. <laughs> That's what we think of this game tonight. <laughs> All right, man. Oh, look, I, I roll a 20 on my, on my rage strength test. Yeah, and it so, flew through uh, space. Wow, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, that is at one thoroughly flipped table. Yep. <laughs> All right, man. Well, thanks. That was It was fun at least, right? Uh, yeah. And we completed a game. Yeah, I laughed at cried. It was better than cats. <laughs> All right. So um, uh, I guess we'll end the stream there. Thanks for watching. There was a couple people watching, but they didn't say anything. I'm sure they were amused at our failure. Uh, so anyway, uh, have a good night, everybody. I'm going to turn off the stream, John. I want just stay online for a sec. Okay. Okay. Turning off. Wow, that was brutal. That was brutal. I am.